Hello Cyberji, my name is Ubiji. Welcome to Clip 9. Who you are into says a talent about you. Ever notice yourself being drawn to specific qualities? Or if you are keeping tabs on your exes, they all seem to possessing similar traits. Cyberji, you are not just picking random traits, good or bad. The people you attract are showing you something you hold within yourself. Your attractions are like a map to your own personality. Your crushes are the storytellers of your preferences and bringing to light the genuine colors that define your subconscious self. In this video, we are uncovering the untold stories that your romantic preferences Reveal about you. But before we jump into that, if you are new to this channel and you are interested to promoting the awareness about mental health, please consider to subscribe our channel and be part of us. Now let's get into the topic. Feeling drawn to someone who shows less reciprocal interest. Are you finding yourself attracted to people who show less interest in you? Do you hold the belief that the less interest they display, the more you tend to fall in love with them? This inclination can reveal psychological needs, such as Validation and self-esteem Successfully winning the attention of someone initially less interested can provide the sense of validation and also boost that esteem. Challenge and excitement. The pursuit of someone who presents a challenge can activate reward pathways to those who thrive on adventure. Past relationship patterns. Previous experiences of pursuing excess who show less interest can create a pattern that feels familiar or comfortable. People who are off the market. Have you ever caught yourself lasting after someone you knew was off the market? Maybe they're married or just in a relationship, but you just can't help daydreaming about being with them. This is probably not a coincidence. There might be some reasons you keep falling for people who are off the market. Some dating experts say that if you keep chasing after to be with someone who literally just can't be with you, it can be influenced by various psychological factors. One significant element is a layer of unattainable, creating a sense of excitement and challenge in the pursuit that can provide a temporary boost of self-worth and create a sense of accomplishment. Moreover, this dynamic may serve as a coping mechanism, allowing individuals to avoid deeply investing in a relationship. It becomes a way to engage in the thrill of attraction without fully investing in emotional connection. Bad boys or bad girls aura. There are many women who drown to men their mothers always warn them about. On the other hand, you might have male friends who just couldn't resist dating a woman despite all the red flags that can lead them to heartbreak zone. Your inclination to attract with rebellious aura can mirror your craving for excitement and thrill with rebellious behavior. You might be drawn to their confidence, rebelliousness, unpredictability, and mystery that surrounds them and make them difficult to read. However, it's vital to carefully weigh whether this attraction stems from a constructive admiration of these qualities or an unconscious need to fix others that rooted in belief that by changing someone, they can rectify 
past relationship issues. Continually get hooked on jealous partners. You may have a friend who keeps sharing that she consistently finds herself attracted to jealous boyfriends. Or maybe it's you getting caught up in the charm of partners who bring jealousy to the table. Some people mistakenly link jealousy to profound love and they're cool with it. They even put up with it. The psychological reasons behind being repeatedly attracted to jealous partners can be rooted in various factors. It might stem from a subconscious association between jealousy and passion, and people with a history of unstable relationships or low self-esteem might be drawn to the intensity of jealousy as it provides a sense of importance and desirability. Narcissists Have you ever found yourself often attracted to narcissistic partners? only to end up with a broken heart or you just can't help but fall under the spell of love bombing narcissists repeatedly the allure of their charm and confidence may mirror our own lack of self-worth being in love with them can provide a temporary sense of validation that our inner self struggle to fulfill the lack of self-worth can make people susceptible to love bombing and attention provided by narcissists. Moreover, those who experience unstable relationships during childhood may unknowingly seek familiar dynamics in their adult relationships. If early caregivers exhibit narcissistic traits, individuals might internalize these patterns making them more likely to gratify toward similar characteristics in their future companions. Cybergy These were five romantic preferences reveal about you. Which one of them relate to you? Or do you think we have missed any romantic preferences that can unveil personalities? Let us know in the comment. This video content is only for educational purpose, not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. If you found this video insightful, please give it a like and share it with someone who might benefit from it too. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next topics. Bye-bye.